everyone and welcome to my new dolly paint video. And this week I'm going to customize such a big styling doll hat. And I see now that on camera this doll looks quite okay, but in real life I was really scared when I opened the mailbox. But for the rest it's a regular styling hat that looks like Barbie, but it's not Barbie obviously. And here we have lots of hair accessories and oh, oops, I have broken the hair clip already and I still cannot even close it. Uh, okay guys, it starts promising. There is no hole in her head like inside of her neck, so I will not be able to remove her hair completely because for this I will need to be able to go inside of the head. I don't know if you can see it a little bit better now, but her eyes are some real mess and this metallic lipstick, it comes straight from the 90s it seems. But really, on camera she looks much better than in real, probably because it all shines like hell. And now is a very important question, what's about her hair? Her hair quality is not that spectacular, it looks a bit greasy and also too soft. But the most important thing is that she has at least enough hair to style. But unfortunately I see here lots of bald spots, so here is no way to keep her original hair on. Well, it's another styling doll hat that cannot be really styled because she has almost no hair. So I cut her hair as short as possible and then I remove all the original paint with pure acetone. I sprayed her face with three layers of Mr. Super Clear sealant and when all the layers dried I start sketching her eyes with Faber Castell Albrecht Durer watercolor pencils. I also draw her nostrils and then with soft pastels I sketch her eyebrows and then I shape them with a piece of an eraser. And I've got here a whole bunch of new pastels this week. And let's use today just the new ones to test them. 
it will be like some kind of challenge for me today. And they are more natural pinkish colors to create more natural looks. So I begin contouring her face and first I work like always on her eye crease and on the sides of her nose. This doll has a little bit of longer face, so I will not really contour her cheeks under the skull bones because it will make her face look even longer. So I'm going to add pastels just to the hairline and under the jawline. And of course I cannot forget about her body! And then I'm applying a layer of darker pastels to make the shadows deeper. Now let's add some gentle blush to her cheeks and apply some nude pastels to her lips. And before I start drawing her face, I need to make all my pencils very sharp. I normally use a breaking knife to do it. So when all my pencils are super sharp, I start coloring her eyes. And for now without much details, just some main color blocks.
Then with a very sharp light brown pencil I start adding hairs to her eyebrows. To make all the colors more bright, I repeat the last steps again. Because it's almost impossible to build up, for example, an ideal white color in one layer. And now let's start adding details, shadows and highlights. And first of all I'm adding grey shadows to the white of the doll's eyes to show the round eye shape. Then I start working on her eyelids and the eye creases using mainly Indian red and Caput Mortum pencils. Then I add highlights and colorful accents to her iris. And then I repeat it all for the second eye. With a white pencil I block her smile. And since this doll is smiling, I want to draw a little bit more visible the folds next to her nose and the dimples, it will also make her face more round.
With the pencil just a little bit darker than her lips color, I start adding creases and shadows. add some red pencil to the waterline and to the white of her eyes. And then with a very fine brush I apply dark brown pastels to her eye creases and to the eye line to imitate the shadows from her upper lashes. And now let's draw the highlights around her eyes and above her lips. And this is when the dolls start looking alive, I think. Then I take a very light grey pencil and I sketch her teeth. I almost never use a black pencil in my repaints. I need it just in the end to draw the eye lines and for the lashes. 
And also now in the end of my drawing I add some extra shadows with a dark brown pencil. One of your favorite details, adding a reflection of the eyelashes to the doll eyes. And to create an effect of a very thin, almost transparent, see-through skin in the corners of her eyes, I add there a touch of light purple pastels. Lately I like choosing doll hair when the face is already done, then I can really see what fits her best. And this time I think such a pretty green color will fit her just perfect. So I make a wig for her using my hot glue technique and there is a detailed tutorial on it on my channel. Just to attach the false lashes and to apply glossy varnish to her eyes and lips. To make her flower princess outfit, I tear in pieces a couple of flowers and I attach the petals to the doll's body with the hot glue. Here is my flower princess! I think she looks so fresh and gentle with her green hair surrounded with all those flowers and the new pastels worked very good. So I hope you like the result of my work today and by the way it's difficult to believe but my channel is just about to cross 100,000 followers. Maybe it's already even happened while the video was uploading. So, I was thinking about making a special Q&A video answering your questions. There are lots of new people who have joined us lately, so it would be interesting to learn each other a little bit better. So please write your questions in the comments under this video. 
And of course, don't forget to put your likes if you enjoyed my video today and subscribe my channel if you don't want to miss my new Dory paints every week Friday. All Instagram users are welcome to my Instagram page for more backstage pictures. And I wish you all a nice weekend and see you already very soon in my new videos. Bye!